Structural currents are found alongside structures like piers, jetties, and break walls, and are usually always present. People will find themselves in trouble if they're playing in the water near the piers. They'll find themselves getting pulled out in a, in a rip current that forms in that structural current. A structural current pulls along the structure, outward like a rip current does, and combines with quickly repeating waves that collide with the structure and bounce back, creating a chaotic sea state that can tire you out and prevent you from escaping. This is known as the washing machine effect, and it is a dire situation, carrying you from one dangerous predicament into another with no clear path to safety. If you get caught in a structural current, you cannot swim back to shore, as the currents are usually too strong. If the pier has a ladder and you are being carried toward it, try to get to it and climb out. Otherwise, in this life-threatening situation, conserve your energy and call out to bystanders on the pier to summon help and to throw you a life ring or anything else that floats. The best way to avoid a structural current is to stay away from these structures. Don't swim within 100 yards of piers, jetties, or inlets. A lot of places, a lot of beaches will have signs posted asking people not to swim within 100 yards of those uh, structures because of that dangerous situation. And if you see do not enter signs, please obey that, or red flags next to structural currents. Make sure you're well away from those.